guys and gals, Polly Jr. here, and welcome to my Minecraft tutorial Let's Play series, How to Survive and Thrive in Minecraft 1.14, which is the latest edition at the time of this recording. We are, of course, playing the Java edition, um, which is for the PC, so if you're playing on Xbox or mobile, it might be a bit different, so bear that in mind. So without further ado, let's jump in and get started surviving our first night we're going to create a brand spanking new world and we're going to call it survive and thrive short and sweet and to the point and of course we are playing on survival mode there's also hardcore mode which is a basically survival mode but um, at a harder difficulty level and you only have one life to live and then there's creative mode where you can fly around you have access to unlimited resources and pretty much everything um, and that's no fun at least in my opinion so let's stick with survival mode and we're going to go to more world options and type in a seed and we're going to use the same name as the uh, as the world survive and thrive and the seed essentially dictates what the world is going to look like because this world generator generates the world dynamically and procedurally and if you use a seed then if uh, if you share that seed with somebody else they're going to get the same exact world so if you want to follow along you certainly can simply by typing in survive and thrive here in the generator. So we're going to keep generate structures on. We're going to keep the world type on default. We don't need no stinking bonus chests and we'll keep the cheats off. And now I do believe we are done. So without further ado, let's go ahead and create our new world and away we go. And here we are. Uh, what's that? Chickens. Why did it have to be chickens? <laughs> <laughs> They're all spies. All of them. Watch them. Watch. They'll be watching us, that's for sure. Anyway, we'll talk more about spy chickens later. So here we are in our world. It is generated for us with our seed, obviously, and it's different every single time. And this looks like a lovely spot. On a river, we've got a savanna here. You can see the acacia trees. Looks like a desert over there. Got a little bit of wilderness here. Hello, Squiddy. Um, and there is the sun. And Oh, look at that. A swamp nice so the sun is rising it is rising in the east and stop pushing i'm telling you these chickens you gotta watch out um so the sun is rising it rises in the east and it sets in the west which is on the opposite end of the world so we have approximately 10 11 12 ish minutes of sunlight daylight to accomplish the task we need to accomplish today which includes gathering wood which we'll get from this tree right here in a moment and then making a set of tools doing some hunting for some food and then finally before the day ends dig into a, a hill right here make a hidey hole which is uh, will be our shelter for the night all right anyway let's do the first thing we need to do and that is anybody yes punch wood so we got a tree here and this is my my arm so we're gonna go ahead and hold down the left mouse button and just punch that wood until that block pops off and now we have some new recipes unlocked. Pretty cool stuff. Now we're going to go ahead and whack this piece of wood right here too. And we'll get a couple of pieces. And now we're going to bring up our inventory with the E key. And this is, uh, that's us. Hello. And down here is our hot bar. This is our inventory space. We also have a book of recipes here. Our known recipes right there. And then the stuff that we can actually make right now if we click on that button. Now I'm going to keep that closed because we're going to do this the old-fashioned way. Do not rely on that recipe book you should learn these by heart so we're going to take our logs we've got two logs from this tree right we're going to drop it in our crafting area which is right here a two by two space yes 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 and we're going to drop both of those in there just like that actually let me show you one first so one log creates four oak planks and just pull them out of there that's the output and we get new recipes pretty cool stuff we're going to do the same with that log and now we have eight oak planks but chicken if you don't stop so pushy now we're going to take our eight oak planks and we're going to drop them in fill in that whole space there and we get a crafting table lovely grab it and we're going to put that down right there perfect and just right click somewhere on the ground <laughs> and uh, now we can open this up by right clicking on it and you can see that our crafting area here is now a three by three and our recipes have been expanded because we can make a lot more stuff on that crafting table than we can in our with our bare, bare hands essentially so what we are interested in right now is a set of tools i'm telling you chicken 
You keep pushing me like that. It's going to happen. We're going to go, bro. So we're going to take our planks and put it in here. And you don't actually have to do this on the workbench. You can do this in your hands because we have enough spaces, right? Just uh, two vertical, uh, well, two oak planks vertically like so. And that's going to give us some sticks. So we're going to take four sticks out is all we need right now. And there he goes again. And you know what we need? I messed up. We need, we need more wood. Let's just grab a little bit more wood here. I was going to make an axe to make this faster, but the axe actually isn't much more faster than your fist or block of wood. So we might as well just grab all these. By the way, sometimes I leave that last block down here. I start one above in case... Would you get off my block? Oh, I'm going to knock your block off, chicken. In case the tree is higher than we can normally reach from the ground. So I do like to leave that one little block right there. Oh, we got a sapling. Fantastic. Let's do our environmentally friendly service by replanting simply by putting it in the ground. And now, now we can finish this task I was working on before. So we're going to go ahead and turn all those into planks. We're going to take our sticks and we're going to make our first tool. So that is the handle. And then the oak planks, uh, oak, yes, oak planks here across the top. And that is a wooden pickaxe. Handle, axe, uh, pickaxe head. And there you go. Grab that out of there and we have our first tool. It's a pickaxe. Pretty cool stuff. Now, we're not done. Let's get out of here. I'm going to punch this thing. And pick it up. Crafting table. What the heck was that? I thought my crafting table was squeaking at me. Hello, batty. Must be a cave around here. You don't see bats flying around during the day unless there's a cave about. Now, you know what? We're going to do something. We're going to do something. I'm actually going to create an axe. I don't normally do this. If there's stone around, I'll make... I'll go right to stone tools because stone tools are faster. But that is an axe. That's how you make it. And we might as well grab a bit more wood before we head across this river and start working on stone and our shelter. There we go. I think that's going to be enough. If not, we can always grab some wood over there. There's acacia trees. All right. Let's, uh, well, let's do something here. Before we go across, let's turn all of these into planks and we're going to make a boat. This is a boat. I'm going to close that. It's very distracting. So that's a boat, right? Simple. There we go. And we got a boat. Oh, that tree popped up. Nice. Let's grab our crafting bench here and put the boat in the water simply by right clicking it and then get in with a right click as well. And then L shift, left shift to get out. And if you press F5, you can see different camera angles. Hi. And then F5 again. And we're back here in, third, in first person mode. So again, right click to get in it and paddle about and you move just like you do normally in most first person games that's using the WASD keys WASD right pretty cool stuff all right let's get across the river here and then a dismount we'll leave the boat right in the water it shouldn't go anywhere as long as the chickens don't steal it should be fine now let's go get some stone because we want to upgrade our tools ASAP oh look at that coal fantastic that's a great find we're going to need that for our first night so we can make torches and light up the dark places we just entered the Stone Age. Huzzah. So we do have an advancements window. And if you want to keep track of that, simply hit your escape key. And it brings up the game menu. And we have advancements right here. So we have just advanced to the Stone Age. And now if we construct a better pickaxe, we will get another achievement. So yes, we are going to be um, overachievers in Minecraft. Many, many achievements to get. In fact, why don't we do that right now? We're going to put that crafting table back down we're going to make some more sticks and i i kind of have to start moving quickly here because the sun is going down and by the way if you have a bunch of materials in a crafting area like this right and you want to get it out and you can hold down shift and click to get them out quickly or you can even click this double click this and grab them all and you can also kind of spread these out with the right mouse button hold it down and then spread them all around pretty cool stuff all right, now let's go back and make our first stone tool. That is a stone pickaxe, which has a attack damage of three as opposed to the two with the wood um, pickaxe. So it's a bit faster and we got an upgrade. And there's that advancement. Now you can see that we're digging, or mining rather, this stone a little faster than we did with the wooden pickaxe. So we're going to grab this stone right here, which is, by the way, cobblestone. And we want probably about, let's say about 20. 
because we want to make a full set of stone tools and we also want to make a furnace which is made of stone so we're going to want approximately 20 stone that's good and while we're here let's grab this coal this coal is going to allow us to cook food and things and also make torches so we can light up our hidey hole tonight and we're getting experience that's what the little green thing is and the uh little jingle that's our experience bar right there we'll spend experience down the road on various things all right how are we doing for time uh well sun is dropping there in the west we don't have much time left a couple of minutes so let's go ahead and make up a full complement of stone tools so we want an axe whoops get out of there there's our stone axe which can also be used as a weapon it does hit pretty hard it's a little slower than a sword but we're gonna make a sword anyway so let's go ahead and make a sword and that is a sword there's the handle there's the blade <laughs> don't ask it works and that's all that matters so now the last tool we're gonna make in this episode will be a stone shovel just like that and that is that so let's grab our crafting table because it's time to get underground no no it's not we still have a little time we're gonna go fishing we're gonna need food we're gonna need food tonight and I, I see some food right here this is a fantastic sort hey get up here you a fantastic source of food right off the bat is fish particularly salmon grilled in a furnace which we will do once we get in the cave here he comes he's, he's coming up so just whack him whack him with your sword um, and they will float right up to the surface and you can snatch them up now that's only one they usually travel in threes so let's go see if we can find a couple more but we got to keep an eye on that sun want to get back and dig up that hole soon all right well we, we get kind of gypped here that's only one fish that's not very much i'm probably not going to need a lot of food on our first night anyway but i did want to at least demonstrate that oh i see fish over here and cows and cows too which we'll hunt down tomorrow because they also give food and uh, and leather but i don't want to get ahead of ourselves we could also kill those chickens over there which give chicken meat as you might expect but i have another purpose for those chickens <laughs> all right here we are back at our bank and let's go ahead and dig in right about uh here yes this looks like a fine spot this is our hidey hole. I'm going to dig in with a shovel, which works great on dirt. And then for stone, we want to use our pickaxe. And oh my gosh, I hear, I hear a skeleton. Did you hear the bones? There's a skeleton about. So now monsters will come out in the dark. They spawn. Essentially, the game will generate them in dark areas. Doesn't have to be nighttime. Oh, there's a skeleton over there and a spider. And here they come. All right. We got to get something made up here, and that is a door. So that right there is a door. Two vertical rows of uh, the oak planks will give us three doors, in fact. And I'm going to go outside and place it in front so it's flush from the outside. And there we go. We're safe. Safe and sound in a little hidey hole. How lovely is that? Now, we're going to make torches. Torches is essentially a stick with coal on top. And you get four per operation. Eight should be enough. I want to save some of that coal for cooking and other things. And now, now we're safe in here. We can get comfortable. If you're claustrophobic and you want to raise your roof or you want to dance and don't want to whack your head on the ceiling, that's fine too. Then just uh, pop those out. And then we're going to put a torch up here and light up the inside. And I like to put one on the outside too. Quickly, quickly now. Close the door. Nothing can get through this door in normal mode of Minecraft survival. If you play on hardcore, then zombies can knock it down. But we're not playing on hardcore, so we don't have anything to worry about. We are 110% safe in here, as long as you don't open that door. And now we just wait out the night in our little hidey hole. The night's going to be about 7-ish minutes or so. Day is between 10 and 12, depending on whether you count dusk and dawn, uh, the transitional period. So there goes the skeleton, checking out the boat. Don't you even think about it, buddy. We do have a sword. We could go take him on. But we're not going to take that risk right now because we don't have any cooked food. We, d we can't eat raw salmon to replace hunger. And oh, by the way, gosh, I haven't even shown you the uh, our little bars down there. The hearts indicate our health. The one is our level. And the chicken bones, the little meat pops, 
our the um, is our hunger. And right now we're not hungry because we haven't really moved around very much or done much. But we will get hungry over time, and we're going to want to cook some food. So we're going to take our cobblestone here, and we're going to make uh, that arrangement. Leave the center square blank, and that gives us a furnace. So let's take our furnace out, and now we get some new recipes. And if we put that down with a right click, oh, zombie! And we'll right click on this and open it up. Oh gosh, here they come. But we're safe in here. Don't fret. Um, now this has some recipes here too. We can make charcoal with oak with uh, logs. We don't have any to demonstrate that now. But if you can't find coal, you can always cook logs. I should have saved one to demonstrate. But because I found the coal, we didn't have that need. Uh, we can also cook salmon in here, and we can cook stone. We'll cook cobblestone into stone. So what we're interested in, of course, is cooking our raw salmon, which goes up here in the top of the furnace. And now we need to create a flame to cook those guys. We could just dump in one coal, but one coal will cook eight things, and I'd rather not waste it. So let's just burn our old tools. Pretty much anything wood will burn. So we're going to burn our old tools that we don't need anymore. And each one of these tools should cook at least one fish. And there we go. Cook salmon. Cook up that axe. Or rather burn the axe to cook the fish <laughs> and then we'll have one fishy left and we can just cook a door sure uh, burn a door i keep saying cook but i wouldn't cook a door it don't taste very good unless you're a termite and huzzah we now have cooked salmon that we don't need to eat because we're not hungry right now so that's it i think that's it we have well, we haven't survived the whole night but we can simply by staying in here and hunkering down and waiting for the sun to rise. And that, my friends, is how to survive your first night in Minecraft. And I am very tempted to go out there and do battle, but we'll save that for another episode. So with that, we're going to call it quits. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.